All right, so you bought your pro shop equipment, you're ready to rock. Welcome to the pro shop industry in the first place. So let's kind of go over a little bit of uh, pro shop basics, okay? So you've just got this brand new piece of equipment. So let's just kind of go over some of the best practices of what you might see or what you what might want to uh, keep in mind in terms of yearly maintenance, okay? So here in our pro shop, we've got two different types of drill presses. And in essence, in the industry, there's basically two types of jigs, okay? You've got your manual clamp down, okay? Which could be either spring loaded or uh, finger tight using some um, uh, threads, okay? In this case here, we have a Lichko, which is a pivoting style uh, clamp down, okay? So we do have the header that comes down onto the ball and basically clamps down, okay? So the, the more generic or the, the, the more basic version of this won't have the pivoting aspect of it so you're tilting it like you would on a vacuum system okay so advantages of this type of, of uh, jig are that if you need to make slight adjustments you don't need to uh, move the entire ball but just move either north to south or east to west okay so that's one of the advantages of this in my opinion and then the other thing is that you are physically secured so you control uh, what it what is going on okay and then we also have different styles of vacu jigs okay there's different manufacturers of them but basically in essence they're all the same okay so again we kind of lose the pivoting aspect of it okay but what's really important with this is that no matter which style vacu you have you need to make sure that you have the proper amount of suction okay because if not the ball will shake and the ball might move off the press okay so it's a little bit not, I'm not gonna say risky but you need to just watch out for that okay uh, the systems do come with an with a manual clamping system for security uh, so make sure to keep those handy as you see we have ours right next to the drill press so if ever we need to we can easily just uh, grab it and go okay so that's for the jig in the end you know, pick your poison, pick your budget too, because they're not the same price point by any means. Make sure to call either Innovative or Jayhawk. And if you have any questions, they are going to be more than happy to answer them for you. You could also reach out to me and I could give you my pros and cons of each and every system out there, okay? Um, after that, uh, some other things that you might have to, at your disposal is going to be some sort of digital readout, okay? Again, depending on your budget, you might or might not have a digital readout. It is not a must, okay? But it is a very, very nice to have, okay? If you can budget for this, it can take your pro shop game to the next level, okay? You're gonna be taking this course, you're gonna be learning about ovals, trapezoidal cuts, taper cuts, all this type of stuff with Spectre, it does the calculation for you, okay? So you can do complicated stuff relatively easily because of the software, okay? So Spectre in combination with a digital readout is the cream of the crop, okay? The thing also is that if you do not have this, you could use the rulers here on the handles. So in this case here, as we saw in the digital readout, it said 250, okay? So every thousand so basically what this means is that we did two and a half turns so here that it's 0.5 means that we did a, a half a turn okay so what we see here matches the digital readout so you could easily do ovals with this however it is a little bit more complicated because you are going back and forth quite a bit with this but it is doable i've done it in a pinch and you know that's it okay different kinds of digitals exist on the market tickle whatever your budget can can acquire um and also if you can find some used you know good stuff okay so that's going to be that okay your drill press might or might not have a keyless chuck okay so keyless chuck is just a really great uh option because it's very quick so just really easy for you to take your drill bit in and take your drill bit out okay there is also an option where you can wrench on it from the top of the drill press um, or also you have the key chucks I prefer using a keyless chuck just because of ease and, and, uh, and all of that, okay? There are some drawbacks to keyless chucks, however, but I feel like the pros outweigh the cons. And today, if you buy a brand new drill press, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that they all come by that fault with a keyless chuck. You might also have on your drill press a depth gauge because you might have a three-axis digital readout. 
In our case, we only have a dual axis digital readout, so left and right, not up and down. Uh, however, that is really nice to have. Uh, I wish I had one, so um, that is definitely something, but you could use this manual ruler here to, to dictate your gauge. And as you see, you're gonna see as we're gonna be going through the step-by-step -step processes, we still use a steel span ruler just to double check our work every time. So if you get into some of these basic uh, principles, it makes things a little bit uh, simpler. Okay, so you wanna look for a full drill bit set, okay? You can get either a minimal set, which is uh, about, I think it's 24 drill bits, but in essence, you want your full 43 bit drill set, okay? So if we see here on the carousel, we go from 7 eighths to uh, 57 60 fourths. So basically we have 60 fourths. Um, a more basic set might only have 30 seconds budget constraints and all that i understand so maybe a full kit for you isn't something that you started with but it is definitely something that if you wanted to move into the right direction with the pro shop industry you really want a full drill bit set okay obviously we have also the some of the courses on the interchangeables okay so again these are something that you could buy aside which can build your kit okay so if you are a you know a, a vice pro shop you might only have the vice it system System, which is great but however today um, the consumer usually wins <laughs> when when they request stuff so the more that you can offer in your pro shop the more customers that you can um, help out in your world so make sure to check out all the starter kits for those okay um, we also do talk about some other drill bits like the reamer and all that so make sure you touch up on that okay um, Make sure you also have a very good quality plug cutter, okay? This is going to be used for cutting your slugs and cutting down your ball plug. So this is a must in the pro shop as well, okay? Also, one thing I do talk about in the uh, install videos is the oversized drill bits. These are a very, very nice to have. So make sure to contact your distributor and uh, check out for one and three eighths and one and a quarter oversized. It's gonna make your life so much easier when uh, installing slugs. Next up, having a good vacuum system, okay? Here we have the vice vacuum system, okay, which has the catch can right here. We have our vacuums in a different room, so when we turn on the vacuum, don't really hear much, right? All we hear is the suction from the vacuum, okay? In a very busy pro shop, that is a huge must, okay? Um, always hearing the vacuum right next to you, it's no fun, right? So this is a really great system, I really recommend it. Uh, there's other DIY systems that you could figure out, but this is uh, basically something that you could just plug and play, good to go. The bags are very easy to interchange, take out, throw out, put in a new one, and you're good to go. Uh, so for large volume shops, if you look at the size of this cash can, Jimu, you're gonna see that this thing's huge, okay? So we could drill a bunch of balls before we have to empty this out. So this is a really good lifesaver and very, very recommended, okay? Uh, but any type of shop vac will do, and actually that's what we have in the back, just a generic shop vac. Uh, for that, okay? Okay, so let's talk about pitches now and basically what direction you wanna go, okay? So, basic rule of thumb that I want you to keep in mind when doing this, okay, is that if you are looking at the four directions of a pitch on your drill sheet, okay? So you got those four hours, arrows pointing up, down, left, right, okay? What you wanna do with the table is you wanna move it in the opposite direction, okay? So if the arrow is pointing up, you want your table to come down. Okay, if your arrow is pointing left, you want your table to slide right. Okay, so that is the generic way that I want you to think about this. Okay, so here we'll use this as an example here. We've got a drill sheet with um, 3 16 forward. Okay, so 188 up. Okay, so how is my table gonna come? I'm gonna bring the table down. Okay, so here if you look, I'm right on my zero. So I'm zeroed out. So I wanna come on this side of the drill press, okay? So I'm gonna look here, okay? And I'm, oh, is it on the right side? No, I'm going up here, okay? So I'm going the wrong way, okay? So I wanna come down here, okay? And I'm gonna go to 188, okay? So now I'm going 188 and it's in the right, so I don't see the zero, so I, I did bring the table towards me, okay? So another cool thing, just for you beginners out there, this is going to be where you're gonna mess up the most. Okay, I've seen it, I've done it. You go too fast at times and you're gonna be pitching in the wrong direction. However, again, Spectre's your friend, use it. And I'm gonna show you real quick how you can maybe catch some of those errors using some of the settings in Spectre, okay? So 
zoom out, go here to settings, okay? And if you check here, you're gonna see drill press calibration, okay? So this is going to be a huge step in the right direction for you to minimize your mistakes, okay? So in this case here, we'll, we'll just do the forward and reverse, okay? But here you've got your left, right, and your forward reverse. Does your machine display forward pitch positive? In this case, it is because I've got forward pitch and I'm positive, okay? If I went the other way, okay, we see it's negative, okay? So in this case here, this is correct, okay? So move your, your drill press and see if you are positive or negative. If you see negative in this case, just hit no, okay? And it's gonna change the calculations for you, okay? And then recently we just added this inspector cloud, okay? Display plus minus in the pitch tiles, okay? This by default is set to no. If you turn it on and you go back to your spec sheet, okay? You will see now a plus minus indicator on the spec sheet, okay? So making it really simple for you to see, okay, that's positive and it's negative as we can see here. So we see here it says negative 313, okay? So there's, it's gonna be hard for you to mess that up because it's already showing you the plus and minus measurements. So that is a really, really good lifesaver for any beginner on the drill press. So make sure to check that out, okay? But again, going back to what I said, software is there to help you. But again, you wanna learn good basic principles in drilling. Look at the direction of the arrow. Table goes always in the opposite direction. That's the best advice I could give you uh, on that. So that's relatively speaking, the basics of what you're gonna be having here with your drill press. Make sure you keep it clean, keep it dust free as best as you can. At the end of the day, just keep it nice and, and clean, okay? Some other basics that you might have in your pro shop are gonna be your trusty high speed sander, okay? You can also have the uh, cordless variant, which is really good. We use it for very light grits, just for finishing process, okay? You're gonna need a nice pencil sharpener, a scribe, some span tools. Make sure you have everything at your ready. As we go through these, these classes, you're gonna see me using different types of products. If you have any questions or comments, please write us and we'll be more than happy to help you choose the right product for your pro shop, but make sure that you at least have some of the basics as we had mentioned for your drill press, okay? Thank you and welcome to the pro shop industry. Once again, let's head out into the classroom.